Hi folks, recently I watched a video of one of my favorite Italian singer which is called Giovanotti and he made this video that is very very strange, check it out, it's like he's using a, a technique that is called stereoscopic technique and brings the effect that you have like a 3D picture even if it isn't a 3D picture. This method is also used uh, from military, you, they take pictures from the sky and then you can see the, the ground in a 3D way so you can understand better what is on the ground and they also use in this technique astronomic so they take pictures to planet or stars and then they can understand better where is the position and this technique is not only useful but is also very fun to use consider that one of the first camera was sold to the queen of the united kingdom in the 1880 was a lot of time ago. I watched the video of Giovanotti so many times that I think I got it. I know how he made it. Maybe he spent a lot of money for all the equipment and all the troop, but I can't do it with only 10 bucks. So follow me for a couple minutes, I show you what's in my mind. So let's start the project. A couple months ago I took apart a PC printer. I was able to save this little motor, a pulley and a belt from it. This will be the first components of this project. I will mount everything on a base, in this case a very small component of this project. I will mount everything on a base, in this case a very strong and sturdy base, it's a metal base. I need to make a hole bigger and also make two little holes, one on the right and one on the left, so that I can also put screws to secure the motor firmly in place. So the screws are going in and this is the result, the motor isn't moving at all. I can then take the little pulley, the belt and the pulley and place it here and then make a hole so that the pulley can spin freely and there's also tension on the belt. Now let's take something else, I'm talking about a rigid plate, like for example this plexiglass plate works ok, but I can, you can also use wood or PVC for example. Trace the shape of the pulley, but be careful, make something bigger, for example this little nipple here on the right. Cut away the part, put it on the pulley, and now using some super glue, I can glue the both parts together, make sure that they spin freely and doesn't get stuck. Now I place also two, I will take also two little switch that I took apart from the PC printer. If you want to buy them I put links here on Amazon. I placed a little plastic base so where th this is very important just to keeping the two little switch at the same exact height of the plexiglass circle. I took this uh, selfie stick, uh, open it up, taking it apart because I have to reveal the cables that are inside. This is a very long cable, it's almost one meter long. I can cut both cables, one at eight centimeters and one at 20 centimeters almost. After revealing the copper cables from inside, I can solder them using a soldering iron to the switches, so here on the normally open contact of the switch. And this is how the project looks like until now. I need to make the power system to, for powering on the, on the motor, so a little switch, a general switch goes here, this is the potentiometer goes here on the back, we also need a battery connector and a 9 volts co battery. So after co connecting all the cables, this is how it looks like. So we have the, the main switch and that we gave, give power to all the system with the potentiometer, instead we control the speed of the motor. So also the FPS, so how many pictures taking every second. As you can see, it can move very, very slow and clicking uh, both switch, when we press the switch, we can take pictures with the smartphone. So I take away also from the selfie stick the base where I can mount the smartphones. Uh, aluminum base will be used to connect both components here, one on the left and one on the right. So I make an 8mm hole, I make like 10 of these little holes so that I can decide later on the distance of the smartphone. I found that a good distance is about 8 centimeters, and the electronic part with the motor goes here on the middle. The jacks cable that was from the selfie sticks are going inside the smartphone, one on the left and one on the right. And now let's make some tests. Some are good, some aren't so good, so just tell me which one you like the most.
I think it looks amazing. Yes, it's almost like the video of Giovanotti. Consider that all my clips look a little bit different because I'm experimenting. I, I want to find a way how to take the best pictures. So I was putting the camera at different position, also at different angle, and the subject is not always in the middle of the pictures. So I, I watch all these clips. I think I found all the mistakes and all the things that went well, very well. So I know from now on how to make stereoscopic pictures better. So it's also very, very important to put the iPhone in manual mode so the phone doesn't have to waste time to take the focus, adjust the exposure. If you put it everything, you stop everything in manual. So once you, you press the switch, it takes the picture very, very fast. So you can have a very fast frame rate from both phones. I, use, I decide to use smartphones because instead of reflex cameras, because smartphones are always synchronized with the time. Yes, with the, the time right now, because it's synchronized via internet. So this phone has exact, exactly the same time of this one. So if I take a lot of pictures with this phone and with this phone, and I have to shuffle them together, it's very useful to have two cameras that are synchronized because you have to shuffle the pictures together. You have to put one picture of this, then one of this, then one of this, and one of this, and so on. It was quite a long job. By the way, there is a simple trick because they are synchronized, you can put all the pictures from one and from another inside the folder, inside the computer, and then you press organize all the files by date. In this way, all the files will shuffle them together by themselves. You just have to take them and put it in the video editor and it's a very good saving time. So I think that this project is quite interesting. I hope you like it. A thumbs up helps me a lot, so it doesn't cost you anything. Please thumbs up this video. So as always, I leave you with my two previous videos. Check them out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.